Hello, hello. Who do we have in the chat today? All right. So welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing uh, mist today. So hold on one sec. I'm just getting into my notes. So mist is actually a series that I've been. Hold on. Let's get some music in here too. Mist has been a game that I've been uh, planning to do for uh, quite some time here. It's, uh, it's kind of one of those games that have left a huge childhood I impression on me when I was young, but I never actually beat it, which is why we're going to be doing it on the stream. Um, the whole point of this stream is going to be for us to essentially um, get through a bunch of games that I might have started partially, but never beat. You know, I think that a lot of us can relate to the whole fact that, you know, we, we get a bunch of games, it's like Hoarders, and then we end up not even... We end up not even beating any of them, and they're just sitting in our Steam libraries, just taking up space. So, yeah, we definitely need to do something about that. We need to beat uh, Mist today. Um, I never actually played Mist when I was a kid, but what really left an impression on me was actually its sequel, Riven. Um, I had like a Windows 96 computer when I was like two, like three years old. And uh, yeah, like just really crazy. Like, look at that box art. So, this is like back in the olden days when games used to be played on CDs. Beautiful, beautiful box art though. Like it actually like, hold on, I should actually like go through these a little bit. Um, but yeah, this computer doesn't have a CD-ROM drive, so we're playing the, the Steam version. Um, yeah, CD's nuts. And, and then we also have Exile uh, and all that, but I don't actually have a disc copy of Myst, but... Yeah, really, really cool cover art. I just wanted to kind of show that off here. And uh, let's see here. <clears throat> oh yeah, so I slightly improved my lighting just a little bit today. Um, I got two lights on either side because my stream yesterday, I did kind of like the dark mood, but the game was so dark and I'm like, bro, you can't see my face the whole time. So I'm like, that's brutal. I got to fix that. So uh, that's what we got. Uh, <laughs> today hopefully that's it, it'll be a little bit of a step up but um yeah eventually i want to get some nice rgb lighting get some aesthetics going here <clears throat> and then eventually too as uh as uh this grows and stuff i was thinking about uh doing a bunch of different lifestyle uh streams basically on a bunch of different uh, hobbies like mixology or baking or cooking it's just a matter of i need to build a bar so as soon as I build a bar, I will do that. I just need to like have an actual table that I can uh, set up cameras on and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll get started on that. <clears throat> and then I'm also getting uh, working on getting multi-stream going for YouTube. Um, but yeah, that will that'll take a little bit of time. I'd have to subscribe to Streamlabs Pro. So anyway, <clears throat> so uh, today we're going to be playing Myst. Um, I was, I was going to have like... I was gonna go through like all the games in order every single stream, but I feel like I'm gonna get burnt out. So I do actually have like a playlist of games that we're gonna be going through uh, over the next week here. Uh, so let's see if I have. Uh... Oh yeah, so we got Mist, uh, and then we're gonna do Metro, and then Omori, and then Metro Two, Undertale Yellow, and then we're gonna go to Riven. So I just feel like I'm gonna get burnt out after a point and click. Uh, puzzle game, but who knows? Maybe this will uh, this will leave an impression on me, and I'm like, oh, I need I need to play its sequel right now. Um, yeah, holy, this game is gonna be nuts. I'm just gonna launch it here. Oh yeah, and then. I know that the puzzles aren't too hard, but I know the developers have said themselves that there's a few puzzles here and there that I think it's mostly in Riven, where the uh, there might be some puzzle design that's just kind of, kind of eh. Oh god! Oh god, this is just blasting stuff. Hold on. Um, that being said, though, um, yeah, like if there's a few puzzles that might not be like designed the best, or something like that, then obviously we might just, uh, we might just skip ahead. Uh, so we'll just see here. Okay, just one sec here. I'm just gonna shut off this backlight. Okay. 
Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Man, this is like a step back in time. God damn. You gotta turn that down just a little bit, Jesus. That was like the THX logo, my god. Okay. Wow. Man, fuck these hair clips. I fucking hate these things. Okay. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Okay. So that was kind of a convoluted introduction. Um, I was kind of watching a couple of YouTube videos uh, explaining the making of this game, so just a little backstory. Um, there's basically a people called the Dunny who have learned how to write worlds into books, and that's what that is. And we're some random guy in some starry expanse. We're just a random person, we're just us. I don't know where we are, but this book fell from some fissure, I guess, and now it's in our hands. Um, so I guess there's a moral choice that we make, um, let's see what happens. My god. Man, the book had to buffer. That's crazy. Man, I had like, I had my fingers on the WASD keys. I was ready to like walk around. I'm like, no, this is a point and click adventure game with pre-rendered graphics. So um, yeah, it's, it's not really 3D. It's pretending to be 3D. Apparently just doing the 3D graphics pre-rendered was still difficult because <clears throat> At the time, the, the computers would take, like, weeks or whatever just to render these trees or whatever. Amazing. Where's my chat? Come on. Come on, Twitch. Okay, there we go. All right. What is this? These aren't buttons. This is like a hologram projector. Okay. Okay. 
can't walk around. He plays this dramatic music. So I feel like I'm supposed to do something here. And these lights don't do anything. Can I drag? I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm very confused already. I might just turn around and come back to this later, because there might be something that I have to do, but... Okay. Oh, what's this? Topographical extrusion test. 40 wa water turbulent pool. 67. Marker switch diagram. 47. So this is a dimensional imager. And these, okay, 40, 67, 47. I'm gonna have to write this down. Shit. I don't have pens anymore. It's 2024. What would I need a pen for? Fuck. Oh, shit. I can't use my phone because it's Twitch chat. This is... Oh, God. What do I do? Hold on one sec. I'm gonna try and see if there's one in another room. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. Dimensional imager. The T E T is forty. This is insane. I feel like a psychopath. Water, the WTP. P67. And then MSD is 47. Okay. Somebody tells me that's like incredibly useful information. Are we going to be test on this immediately? Okay. I don't know which one this is, though. Oh. Oh, this is the topographical imager test, so this will let us see... Is this our island? Is this where we are? No, this is a random fucking mountain that has nothing to do with where we are. This must have looked really cool back in the day. I don't think this is going to help us. That, that is a mountain. Okay. Why? If it only does three things, why wouldn't it be a button? Maybe it does more things, and he just, uh, scribbled that down. I really like these sound effects. It reminds me of... Okay, so this is just the water simulator. Okay, what is the marker switch diagram? This reminds... The, the sound effects remind me of Half-Life 1. I love... The aesthetic of that game, it's like, it's such a vibe. Okay, bro. What is that? A podium? No. Okay. Man, that is, that is literally a Half-Life sound effect. That's crazy. Okay. Let's go up to this weird gear thing.
Okay. Honestly, for being just a series of pictures, this is kind of immersive. The most immersive PowerPoint. Ah, here we go. Oh, Catherine, I've left for you a message of the utmost importance in our four, in our four chamber beside the dock. Beside the dock. The, f the fucking machine. Enter the number of marker switches. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. The number of marker switches. What is a marker switch? So we have to figure out what a marker switch is, and then that's going to play a video on the cauldron thingy. Okay. Man, Atris, why, why is Atris just like scrumbling up a piece of paper and throwing it down in some grass? If it's of the utmost importance, that is a really good place to just... Nice. Good job, Atris. Honestly, I would have just walked right past that too. If the grass had more polygons, you know? Marker... Marker switches. The out. Make um the. Makes the machine do a thing. Cool. This is how you would uh, write down quests back in the 90s. I'm just going to put the piece of paper right back down there. Because this game can't make an inventory. That's a cool sound. This must be a marker switch. What the fuck? Look at how this door opens. That was, that's so unsettling. That is so unsettling. Now the <laughs> Okay. Damn. It's a Scientology chair. Look at the Scientology design. Whoa. Was that the uh, fissure thing? Does this have something to do with that? The, the, but no, because we're in the... No. What is this machine? What does it do? Hmm. Okay. January 1st. Hmm. I feel like this is like a memory reader or something. I like how the music stops when I pick a sound. That's uh, that's good technology right there. It's probably not going to give me anything. I have to find a specific number. Marker Objectives. Okay, objectives. We need to find the mar marker switches numbers. We know that there's at least two. Assuming that it's the blue handles. Blue. And, um... This thing, yeah. Find... Time... Or chair. Okay, we got two quests now. Interesting. Oh, that's sick. Very cool. That's pretty sick.
Man, I can almost feel that gust of wind. They they were they worked really hard on the sound design. This is really good. Oh wait. These could be marker switches too. Hold on, we'll we'll look at those in a second. Hey. I wanna go inside. What's in here? Got a fireplace? I can hide in the fireplace. Hello? Oh shit! Okay. Interesting. What is this? Wow. Hey! Sick, we got a secret entrance? What's this? Weird. A red what? A red page. Can't see you. He needs a red page to see me. That was crazy. Um, oh, so I have heard, like I said, a little bit of the behind the scenes. And uh, the videos that we're seeing are videos of the developer. And as the game progressed, obviously, like, when it came to Riven, like, they actually had, like, actors on green screen, and it was, like, a big production. But the developers hated acting, but he had to, like, act in this big production. It's really funny, so... Um, it's gonna be funny just to see performances knowing that, like, they don't want to be there. They don't want to be there. Uh, let's see here. So... Guy wants red page and I'm assuming that will improve our connection to him I think these are called link books I think this is a link book you are here whoa So that does a thing that's red so I'm just I'm just gonna see what that does okay I'll just see what happens there no save game oh wait resume that's all I did I thought I like just exited the uh, the game and went back to the main menu. That did not look like a pause menu. Man, I thought that like I was gonna get kind of annoyed with this game right off the bat, but like I'm I'm really liking this. It's like, oh yeah, right, and tile pattern. Yeah, we might we might play the games in succession then. We might play them in succession. Tile pattern on fireplace. Okay. A blue book. Okay. Oh. Nice. Hello? Blue 
ages. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. He must have the blue pages. He must have them. I think in the, so. In the first game, they didn't mind acting because it was just a little thing, and they were just in front of little cameras, and they were just having fun with it. But then after that, they're just like, "Oh God, this is like exhausting." Um, that's <laughs> that was a fun performance. The blue pages. So, um, what this seems like is that. There's two guys trapped in these two books. And I'm assuming that the moral choice of the game that I was hearing in the behind the scenes, I'm assuming that one of them, or both of them is probably, one is going to tell the other to throw the book into the fire, probably. Um, yeah. I feel like that is probably where the story is going to escalate. If I had to guess. Like, I'm sure they want one brother wants the other one dead, because they're both trapped in books right now. Watch me be completely wrong, and that all this is is like some other kind of weird puzzle or something. Hmm. This is pretty cool. The library. Weren't we just in that? There was just a bunch of books. Damn. Oh, maybe that is the current floor indicator in the elevator. Okay. What's that about? Oh, cool view. That's sick. Is that a note? How would I get there? Bruh. I could literally shimmy across this, but this character is unable to. I have lost all immersion. I don't like the view anymore. I'm very upset about this. Come on, just walk over there. Or I guess we could just use the ladder like a normal person. Two... Forty, and then two, two, one. Okay. Tower sign. Is this a date? Maybe this was when this tower was made and they have it down to the minute. I don't know. I don't know the ways of the Dunny yet. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know enough about them. Two, two, one. Yes, that might be a date. Is that all this is? Oh, God. Oh, and then there's a book on that side and a key on the other side. Okay. Tower. Is there a true north in this game? I don't think so. So I think we just need to know the two images. I don't think the orientation matters. 
Aqui. Okay, so we got a key and a book. Get me back into the elevator, I swear to God. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, am I trapped in this place now? So I'm assuming I can't leave until I, like, reset the rotation of the tower or, like, complete the puzzle. Okay. That doesn't tell me anything. But it will be the very last thing that I pick. Hold on one second. Like, 30 seconds. Okay. <coughs> ah. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, that bronchitis, it's um it's pretty bad. It's brutal. <coughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. It just it flares up sometimes. Um okay, so there wasn't anything at the thing, but I thought if I turned it this way there would be something to look at, but Like, it only, it only turns red here, which I assume meant that it was, like, a valid position for the tower to be in. I didn't really see anything. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check just to make sure the view is, like... Just in case there's any, like, details that I'm missing here.
I know that there's actually five um, games that kind of make up the main Myst story. Um, it's kind of sad though, they got rid of the live actors in the fifth one, I think. It's like, what are they doing? That's just the Switch. Okay, there, there's nothing here. There's nothing in this direction. But the thing is, is when it's red, because it's facing that way... Well, I don't know. I'm going to double check the boat. Because there's not going to be anything here. What is this weird... Because this did a weird effect earlier, and I was just like... I was like, oh, that was cheesy. But I didn't actually realize what the signif like if there was any significance to that. I was like, what's that all about? I like how the elevator has to turn when it goes up the tower. Okay. Is this anything? I don't think I don't think it Okay. So I'm gonna try just facing the tower in one of those white directions and just seeing if if the tower lets us see anything. I'm assuming that because everything's pre-rendered, though, it's, it's not going to let me really look out the tower, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh. Okay. What's over there? The game actually lets me, like, look in every possible direction that I can set it to. That would be insane. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's covered in stone. Okay, so only in those two spots is there anything. But I think I'm trapped in this room. Yeah, this isn't good. I didn't expect to be like trapped in here. I just wanted to quickly check out this place and then wander more around the island now, but we're, we're kind of stuck in this room. Hmm. Yeah. What happened, though? Like, what actually happened? Okay. There we go. I probably opened up the door. Okay. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay. Why, though? Like... So that takes us to the elevator for the tower. But, like, why is it that the swirly pictures control... It's like a smart home made out of swirly pictures. What is this? Okay. 
I, I get it now, but it's like... Interesting. That's just so strange. Oh. That's weird that there's a little model of the sunken boat right here. Can I... Can I pull this up and then make the main boat go up? There's another one! Let's see... I counted three of these blue handles, if it's even a marker switch, but what is this? Because this looks like a switch with a... like with a symbol, I mean I would call that a marker switch. Oh. I'm gonna count these and just see if uh, if we get anything. One, two. Is there like a view where I can see all of them? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight square buttons. Okay. Why can't I turn around? Thank you. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. No way. No way it's this. Catherine, my love. I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but... I shouldn't make the conclusions. He I'll suspects Agonar. As well. I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in the places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Well, if she did come by, she didn't do that. So I'm assuming that she didn't come by. I don't think Catherine's here. Um... <clears throat> Who was the son? I didn't write down the son who was... that he suspects. Suspect for destroying book. Because if you destroy a book, then that's a whole like world that you're destroying. So, interesting. Catherine, my love. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hear the name again and then we'll get out of here. It's hard for me to believe <laughs> most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but... Agonar. I'm assuming that's the red book guy. The other guy 
Like that one, that guy seemed like clearly just like, I am a bad guy. But then the other guy was just like manic. Okay, so then what are these things? And remember the tower rotation. Okay. Two, January, February. February 2nd. One. At two. Oops. There's no music. I like how the music has to stop for this. Two forty. What? I swear, I thought that was gonna do something. 2.40, Come on. What if it's 2.40 p.m.? If it was for the construction of a tower, that would make a lot more sense. Nope. Okay. Well, I don't know what that was for. It doesn't matter if the lights are on or off to... No. No. Okay. And these have their own states as well. Hmm. So you can make it like red or green. Oh, that's sick. This would be a good spot for me to grab some water, I think. I gotta stay hydrated.
All right, and we're back. <coughs> and we're very hydrated. We got liquid. <clears throat> yeah, so, so far, I'm really immersed. Like, I'm actually surprised at how much, like, a slideshow can can look like something. What is this? Okay. Find clock position. That's really amusing. Ah, oh, I see another... There's another blue switch there. I bet they all have to be pulled. For a thing to occur. Oh, this is cool. Hello? Got machinery and okay. Once again, very Half-Life sounding sound effects. How do I get the right ones to move? So is there something wrong with this machine where the right numbers won't move, or, hmm. I was trying to put in the 240 number, but, oh, this is a different thing. Power to spaceship. What if we're in a book right now, and the only way to get out of the book is, like, you actually have to, like, fly a spaceship out of it? That would be crazy. Generator switches. Okay. Might as well write that down. So there's no power going to the spaceship. All the power... 
I wonder if the blue switches are the thing that route the power from the island to the spaceship. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, this is already written down. I'll write it down later if I need it. I like how, like, to save render power here, like, they obviously render this as two pieces, like, this is one thing right here, and then this is, like, another image that they, they rendered separately. And then they just kind of, like, Photoshop the two together. Okay. I'm still thinking about what the guy said in the, um, in the video message. Remember the tower position. I think that's just, like, to get us to walk over there. And, like, start messing with the tower. But what's, what do we have to look at? Like, we can only look at two things. Unless there's multiple states that I can... I don't know. We'll mess with the tower more later. There's a gas leak. Just blow up this whole place. Just leave. Am I even doing anything? Cause like, oh yeah, it affects the volume. Okay. Man! Let me. Okay. <laughs> Safe code. Two two one. I'm never gonna two two. Yeah, I'm never gonna use this information again. And find the clock position. The clock position. Right. That's crazy. Okay. Find three digit safe code. Okay, so where are we with the objectives here? We got the amount um, of number that makes the machine do the thing. Um, yeah, we already did that. Okay, let's scratch this off the list. We don't need to count the blue handles. I don't think that that is relevant. <laughs> we still need to find the time for the chair. Man, I thought that's what it was though. Two. Two, one, two, forty, question mark. Mm. Okay, and then this safe, so, okay. So what we have for objectives now seems to be four. We need to find the time for the chair. Um, 
the pat the pattern on the fireplace. Uh, find a three-digit safe code and find the clock position. And then we completed two, completed two objectives. Okay. Well, but then what's what, what is this thing, right? Oh. Ain't no way. Okay, we're at full gas leak mode now. That's so weird. I feel like we probably have to get into the safe somehow in order to actually do anything here. So whatever, like, we'll, we'll revisit this thing later. I just, I don't want the cabin to blow up. That's why I'm turning it all the way back down, obviously. That's definitely a thing that can happen in this game. You never know. Don't want a gas leak. That seems like a pretty small island. I'm gonna just see like how the cameras look because these eyes are like, or these lights are like glaring in my eyes right now. Hold on. Let's just see here. Oh, it is pretty dark already. I don't think I'll be able to get away with it. Oh man, that is dark. Okay, whatever. We'll have one light going. Hey, there's a ladder. I bet when we have like a bunch of power, we like, or like, oh, flip the switch and then something crazy happens. What if we set the generator to maximum right now? It looks like, I feel like I step over this. Like, I don't feel like I walk around it. I feel like I just walk right over it. That's what that feels like. Uh, okay. Let's, let's try that. There was power going to the spaceship there for a second, though. What was that? I just thought I accidentally happened upon, like, a combination there for a second that just... Weird. Yeah, I don't know. That was 
I don't know if the game meant to do that or what. Let's see if this does anything. It does not. Okay. Damage. I want to know your secrets. Okay. What is the deal with this boat in this pun? Am I doing anything? Okay. Hmm. My God, remember the tower position. This is new. How come I have to be aware of the place? What is this logic? I like I what is this logic? This wasn't available before. I couldn't look at it. Um I had to walk over there. And now I can look at it. Okay. Imagine if a tower knew if you knew about a point of interest. Like, the machine knows. <clears throat> Yeah, that was very strange. I'm very confused by that. Okay. Was this the tower position? Hmm. Interesting. What? Why did this change? 59 volts, huh? That's weird. What was wrong with the two two one two forty though? I swear that was for the chair, right? Two two one two forty. 
Like, am I missing something there? <laughs> Sir, I just want to go back to my starry black void. Why don't these guys have, like, any food or anything? Okay, so I can't look at the observatory in any way. This looks like it just cuts off. Like there's more. Yeah, I don't feel like you need like that whole flow chart on the uh, notepad to actually like figure out how to get to a number on that machine. You can just kind of click around until you get it. What I'm confused about is if we're not getting a number on the right for the ship, right? Is power actually going through this cable to begin with? Or is it just saying... Hmm. I probably have to like route, reroute power somehow. Because I feel like it would show up on that machine. And it was for a second. Because just because you open up a switch somewhere doesn't mean the power is not going to stop flowing here. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is how I electrocute myself. It's one of the endings. It's one of the secret endings. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Oh. OK, 
case this is not a thing. What's that? Oh. What's the problem then? Come on, power the freaking thingamajig. What's going on here? Give me the, give me the rocket. Give me the rock. Oh, I do got the rocket. I, I, I gotta calm down. We're okay. We got the rocket. I got the rocket. I'm okay. It's all, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> No way, it's just like full blast. It has to be like um, a combination. Yeah. This is how you set a password in, um, in the Dunny culture, I guess. Hmm. Oh, interesting. What a weird... What? What is this weird thing? This is a rocket? What is this? Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. What's that way? Nothing. Okay. So now we have to find a melody or something. Is it going to be a tone or a pattern? Yeah, I think we might have to come back to this rocket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. So, like, what is... What kind of piano... What kind of piano sounds like this? A really cheap synth one. But this has, like... This has, like, bamboo pipe organs in the back. Like, this is... Very strange. In a, in a rocket. Okay. What do the colors on the symbols mean? Yeah. 
Okay. There has to be a way to unsink this boat. I should see if the if the map reveals anything now that like I'm uh It's a different angle too. Can I just like walk off the path? Whoa, where did I walk to? See, it's strange. Like, sometimes, I, like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, okay. I guess I would see that on the way back if I wasn't, like, walking away from it so quick, but, okay. But how do I, like, get back to it, like? Yeah, that's strange. Or, yeah, it's not. That's not visual. Very visually telling. It's like, oh yeah, you can actually walk over here very secretly. Interesting. I think. Yeah, now I really want to go back to the map because I wonder. This is just a thing that I discovered, and knowing the logic of this game. Now that I discovered it, the tower is going to be like, oh yeah, now, now I'm allowed to look at it. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for looking at that uh, log, bro. Oh. That is a large tree. Man, isn't that crazy? This was like hard to pre-render back in the day and like it's literally just a cone. Wow. Well, that kind of throws a wrench in that. And I thought that they were going to be like, man, this didn't reveal anything either. Hmm. Because this is the cabin. This is the tree. What's this? Oh, it's this thing. Because ain't, ain't no way, right? Yeah, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I want to know what's going on with that tower, though. Like, how do we get access to this thing? Well, the clock didn't work on the chair, right? But I could try 240 on... Yeah, because the chair was AM, PM, and we didn't have that information, and I tried both and it didn't work. Let's try 240 on here. Okay. 
Okay. Where? Hello? How come the... Is it just me or is it not moving? Goofy ass sound. Shit. Wow, that was like a portal puzzle. <laughs> Very, it's just really annoying, you know? I pieced it together though, I was like, oh, what was that for? So, the time for the chair is not 2.40. I wonder what 2.21 is, if that, if that is anything. I wonder if the other tower positions also make the signs say other things too. Before I get too wrapped up with this thing, we'll get to it. I just want to check. I just want to make sure, you know? Okay. Wait. The bunker is now illuminated. What? Why is the bunker illuminated now? I've been to the cabin and the tree thoroughly, but it's still not here. What is the logic be behind how these things appear on the map? I'm just trying to figure, figure it out now. Because I thought I knew, but I did not. Wow. And this is how they padded out game time in the, uh, in the 90s, man. Wow. When did Riven come out? Like, I think, like, the, I don't know. No, it's just this shit. Okay. Uh. <laughs> just flying okay we are at the gears let's see if we get any new information on the sign now that it's turned come on Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go, my guy. Okay, let's try. Let's try these. Let's try these. Man, we got some stuff to look at now. We got Oct eleven, nineteen eighty four. Very ominous. Because of the book, nineteen eighty four. Like. Okay. <laughs> Jan 17. Oh, it probably would help if I had the time as well. 10.04 a.m. January 17. 
1207. 5.46 a.m. Now I'm running out of space in this section here. November 23rd, 9791. I wonder what they have going on at 6 p.m. at 97.91. What a time to be alive. Okay. We got the details. This is what I was saying, man. I'm collecting evidence. This is my experience from L.A. Noir. <laughs> Big brain. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm uh, see big brain. I'm so big brain, bro. I got the biggest noggin. Let's go. <laughs> Can't even walk into an elevator. Let's go. Hello. Okay. Let's see if we get new information at the... Okay, so this isn't a thing. So then we got it all then. Okay. Let's see, uh, let's see what this chair shows us. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, for the chair we got October 11, 1984. October... Man, so like the music would be limited like this because like back in the day it would be like CD-ROM. It's so funny. Oh yeah, they also had to like burn the game in a very specific order on the disc so that the videos could like load really fast. It's so funny. 19... Man, look at the dates we can get to. God damn, my ears! Ah! Okay. Jesus, 10 4 a.m. Fuck, I pulled the wrong one! No! <gasps> oh! Fuck! What did I do? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 19. <laughs> okay. I am so sorry. 10. Oh, 04. Okay. I'm so stupid! I was like, no way the lights- no way the lights do anything! Oh my god. Yeah, these are like portal tier puzzles, where it's like, oh, well, as game developers, we, uh, 
we here at Valve, we, we did not want the players to get frustrated and feel stupid for not realizing they had to put the portal in a very certain spot, but that's what the game turned out to be. Um, developers always try and fight this. It's a really tough one. Because, uh, yeah, everybody completes puzzles at a different pace, but, like, man. So what is this? What are we looking at? Ah, no. So I want to try that other date again, but I scribbled it out. Damn it. Okay. I'll write down this constellation first, I guess, so... We got this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one with the two dots. Okay. Okay. January 17. Twelve oh seven. Oh god, this is like the most grating noise. Twelve oh seven at five forty six AM. Interesting. I thought this was like a telepathy machine, but I think we're just sitting in a chair and then it's just spinning around to different stars on the ceiling. I think that's all that's happening. Okay, well, this is a thing though, so... Jan 17... 12.07... So many note, so much note writing. Like I'll need to get a new piece of paper soon. So we got these, and we have that, that, and that. Okay. Well, it's more like that. There we go. No, it's more like that. Or it's more like, god damn it. Oh, god. Okay. I'll understand. I'll understand. Um. For chair. Two, two, one. Hmm. Two, two, yeah, 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 so that's, that's this, that's this, okay, so we got this, we got the January, November 23rd. Third at six fifty Thank you. 
Oh shit. What? Oh, okay. That's a weird one. I should just be taking screenshots, but... That's not how they did it back in the day, you know? That's not how the fancy screenshots with the gizmos and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a little guy going like, ah! Okay. So we got the Amigo, but I'll be honest here, that 2-2, two, two, I don't have the time for it anymore, I scribbled it out to good shit. Two, two, one. It's a 2240. Shit, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to re-look really at the tower. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm stupid. I forgot. Excuse me. Okay. I'm guessing as the production quality goes up in these games, as they uh, go to the sequels and stuff, I'm assuming that the sound is no longer as grating as it was in this game. I could really see myself, like, if I had a computer that couldn't process real graphics, really getting into this, be like, wow. Oh, shit. Oops. What the heck? Okay. I still don't know what this thing does, though. Oh yeah, this is another grating sound for sure. That's horrible. Okay. Ninety-seven, ninety-one. Yeah, man. Oh, it's not red. I'm sorry, I didn't make it red. God, man. That's the other thing, too, is like, uh... People had a lot more patience back in the day. <laughs> so games were paced a lot differently. Okay. This is a weird one. So we're going to remember the tower positions. I was trying to think if the... Um, if the stars were like 
how you adjust the ship, but it couldn't be because, like, some of these dots are, like, directly below the others, so... Yeah. I can't breathe! Oh. <sighs> okay, let's try this one now. Well, that can't be it. Two, two, one. Like year one? Two, two, one. Two, two, one, two, forty. Here we go. Is there a difference for two? Is it always going to show me a star pattern every time? Yeah, it does. So I don't know if this is anything. Weird. Okay, so far that, that room is beyond me then when it comes to what exactly you're supposed to be doing. Who are these people in this crest? Well, we do have the tower. We do have the tower. Let's see. Imagine how fast this guy is going right now. Another three digit number. Wow. So you can turn the top two or the bottom two. Right. And you only have a limited amount of moves before the weight. Yeah, it won't move anymore. Okay. Okay. So we found the clock position. And inside clock tower code. Okay, so we have to find a musical pattern for a rocket. We found the time for the chair. Oh, 
all the star signs for that I got. Yes, I have that one too. Good. The tile? Okay, so yeah, so this is what we have uh, left to do. We have to find the pattern for the rocket, um, the tile pattern on the fireplace, three digit safe code, and just the three digit code on this clock tower. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what the blue switches do. That has to be like a climactic thing at the very end. Oh god. Get me out of here. Hmm. What are your secrets, boat? Boat. The heck, boat. And then, like, this is still, like, a total mystery. I have no idea what these symbols could be. Man, this has to be, like, off the beaten path, wherever it is. Okay. I don't know, I feel like I'm almost stumped here. I might be just running into a hard wall here where I'm not like really sure where to get more information. Like, unless there's information... I thought I had a third one. I do not have three three-digit safe codes. Darn. Hmm. Three-digit safe codes. Oh, what? Do you, we're like. Hmm. I just remembered we have to figure out what the marker switch color is as well, so I have to add that on the list. And this is really challenging. I'm just pacing around this island trying to figure out 
What is next? That switch was so weird. I didn't even think that I did anything. Maybe I didn't. I don't even know. It's just like it's not visually telling enough. So far, we've found no pages. Man. What's the deal with this thing? Why does it have like such a weird vibe? I really like the seagull animation, it just adds just a little bit. I don't think there's any new places on the island that we haven't seen. I think, I think this is everything. So, I feel like we just have to link these things somehow and then things will start coming together. Man, I feel like there has to be another section of the island actually. No, I take that back. I take that back completely. What is the deal with this tree, by the way? Like, I can look up at its majestic beauty. This is literally like a cylinder with a bump map. Like, I really love it. I really love it. Actually, it's like a cone. It's actually a cone, I think. I'm pretty sure this tree trunk is like a really long cone. That's so funny. Hmm. What is the deal with, like, so there's a picture of this tree... What if this isn't gas? What if this is... I have no pressure though, right? Is this pressure? Is this a pressure gauge? Okay. I thought that turning the valve was going to make it do something outside, because what is the picture of this tree about? Huh. Weird. Weird! I'm very confused by that one.
Damn, this is like really getting convoluted. I think it's getting to that point. I don't know if I'm going to like, I might look up the answer to this just so that I can progress. Um, but I'm not like, I'm not ready to blame the devs just yet. You know, like if I hear the answer and I'm like, oh, I could have come up with that then. Yeah. God, that's like the worst thing ever. Okay. Do these constellations match anything with these? No. What does this do? door opens. Okay, I'm gonna try these codes on this instead. There's no way it's gonna be one of these. I think I can make that number. Man, there's so many three digit numbers. So it's like just like trying to like come up with the combination to get this the three digit the three digit numbers that I need into this thing is already a task. On top of the fact that there's gonna be other three digit numbers to other things that have nothing to do with this. Wow. Okay. 240. Oh, good. Oh, God. I can't stop yawning. Stop yawning. It is only 123. So it's not going to be 240. No shot at 221, right? I don't think I can do that. What was that? I don't think that was anything. Okay. Two... I'm going to try 221, but I don't think that's anything. Three digit safe code as well. No. 
no, it just makes a noise. Yeah. I'm sure this will start spinning there. Some something wild will happen here. I bet that if we can get this tower working, that will correspond with the weird gear thing that's like way over there. I bet. I bet. Okay. Let's see here. Two. There's no way. There's no way. Yep. It would it would never match up. You can't have the same number there. Well you could. Okay. What do I need to do with it? So I need to crank this down over to three. Uh, if this is not the number and I am doing this, I am so annoyed. Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I'm doing it right. I don't think I'm doing it right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Two. Two, Right over there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out... Yeah. I feel like I'm running into uh, a wall here. I don't know if I want to hit a, uh, a walkthrough or guide just yet here. Let's see here. Okay. Mm Two. I'm just curious. I'm just curious at this point. I don't think I'm going to get any new information. And I just want to know what the clock tower code is. Because I don't want to like pull my hair out trying to get 221. If it's not going to be that number. And I, like, I, I don't know where else to go at this point. I'll be honest. So I think that this is going to be the point. So. Where... Do you find the clock tower code in Mist for the inside D 
years. Let's see. Let's see what we're uh, what we're told here. Well, we needed to set the time. We did that. We got into the clock tower. The code is indeed two two one. I was right. So I'm not wasting my time here. It is two two one. Which means I have to fucking figure out how to move the doohickeys. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I don't got... <laughs> Come on, bro. Why would you own a machine that does this? You make your own worlds by writing books. The dunny must protect the knowledge of the books by making fucking really annoying puzzles that aren't really puzzles. It's just like, you gotta figure this shit out. Dude, they have this... I remember the first time I encountered a thing like this in Spongebob when you're in the mermelayer and you're throwing fruit on the things to flip the electric things around to orient them and it's like oh you flip one then these two turn it's like ah this is just as annoying this is the worst type of puzzle design i hate this puzzle because it's not a puzzle i just have to enter two two one this is so fucking stupid okay i'm done i'm done I should just use my brain here and, yeah, I think that's, that's what... okay. Mm -hmm. I just can't picture in my mind what it needs to be to to prime it. Ugh. It's fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> ah, this is the worst. This is the worst. Oh God. I cannot, I am dreading when the, the, the developers are talking about how they were like, oh, we really messed up on the glowing ball puzzle in Riven. That really shouldn't have been in the game. I'm not looking forward to whatever that puzzle is, if it's anything like this. Oh, how, I just, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, bro. Oh. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I'm not this stupid. Oh god, I hate I hate these puzzles. I hate these puzzles. I've never been good at them just because I completed them at at some point when I was a kid. It was like brute force and it was the SpongeBob was like the only game I had. So eventually I just beat the puzzle because I had nothing better to do with my life. And now I'm here at this thing and it's the same type of puzzle and I've learned nothing. I've learned nothing. I'm about to just ask it. <laughs> How many times do you pull each lever on each side because I don't know. And like, is it gonna be satisfying to figure out? Not really. We know it's two two one. We know it's two two one. Could you imagine oh I guess you can't put in two forty. But yeah, okay. Okay. Um I'm just yawning. I'm just fucking yawning. Okay. Two
What's up with these shadows? Anyway. I'm activating every neuron. I just like... It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Uh, it's not enough. It's not enough power. Two. I feel like this has to be on three. Three. One. I'm gonna run out. Why can't I just crank it? Why does this thing have to be here? Like, man, I hate this thing. I hate this thing. This is an awful puzzle. I hate. I hate this puzzle. The other puzzles were fine. This puzzle sucks. This puzzle s just sucks. I'm so stupid. Okay, so no, I do have to crank it around here. Fucking dumb. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then, uh, I gotta bring Twitch chat back. A very active Twitch chat. Just in case. You never know when somebody's gonna say some words. They're gonna say some words and I'm gonna be like, whoa, it's words. <laughs> That's definitely gonna happen. To like bruh. Bruh. Um fuck. You know what? I'm I'm at the point. I'm at the point because this puzzle sucks. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say this puzzle sucks. If anyone has to disagree with me, we know what the code is. This this method of input is insane. Every game dev does this just to pad time because it's easy on their end to make a puzzle like this, and then it just makes the monkey person be like, "Oh, how many times do I have to push each lever and figure it out?" Ah, like no. No, that's not a puzzle. That is not a puzzle. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this gear. Pull the right lever twice. Then press and hold the left the left lever to rotate the middle gear until it reads two. Really? Fucking... One, two, and then how does that complete the puzzle? How does that complete the puzzle? What? 
pull the right lever twice. <laughs> this is like, this is like getting, oh man. Pull the right lever twice, then press and hold the left lever to, ro to rotate the middle gear until it reads two. This will complete the puzzle. This will complete the puzzle. One, two. What? I think that my AI assistant was hallucinating there. I don't think that's the solution. I t Gear. Puzzle. Let's see if we get a different answer with different questions. We set it to 240. That's what 240 was. That's what 240 was. That way it was the first number and then 221 was the second number because they were correlated because they were on the same sign. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Did we press a... Oh yeah, we did. We, we did do that. Uh... Oh, it is hallucinating with the answer. Pull the middle lever twice. Yeah, okay. Okay, Bing. Bing Copilot. That is the latest in chat GPT. That is the latest there. Missed clock tower. Your puzzle. It's the worst. This is the worst puzzle. Okay. So, I think it's going to be backwards. I think it's... No, it's left, right. Right. What? Left. If you hold it, it makes the middle gear turn. I would never in a million years know that the middle gear turns... Like... Like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't even care about the solution anymore. I... I hate that. I hate that. I mean, I could have seen it if I, like, just stared and looked at it. Oh, shit. Damn it! I had it. And and now that I know that it controls that way, I still hate how it controls. So Ah, this puzzle sucks. I hate this puzzle. If you if you didn't know, if you weren't aware, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. What is this? I know what this is. It's the same sound 
it's the big gear outside. It's like that now. I'm just running across this island at Mach 2. Interesting. How long have we been streaming for? How long how long has this stream been going on for? Three hours? Okay. Okay. I'm just hungry. That's the thing. And I have no food to cook. And it'd be irresponsible to get takeout. So I might just uh I might just uh Wait a second. This is another link book. This is another world. Is this just looping? Whoa! Whoa! How come we didn't get that for the first? Did I just not click and I was being dumb? Or wait, this is just gonna loop. Nope. Nope. Did I eat the book? Oh no, I'm on the other side of the island. Damn. Crazy. Oh, I like this. I like this. This area is so dead. Oh. Okay, so it's a whole new island with a whole new array of puzzles. And there's still a bunch of puzzles on the other island. Wow, okay. They said this wasn't a long game, the developers. I think they, well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, if you know where to go and immediately snap the puzzles together right away, then yeah, that makes sense. This is like 90s dreamscape. I really like that. Wow. This is like some backrooms-esque. Like, look at this. Man, this is why I could never play these games when I was a little kid. This would freak me out too much. I'd be like, oh, nope. Nope. What happened, bro? Fortress Rotation Simulator. Calibrating. I don't understand how that 3D model translated to this once it warped. Sounds like, sounds like a, hitting a fucking frying pan. This is definitely how the latest technology is going to sound. Yeah. We're, uh, we're really rotating here, huh? Oh. Mm, the bar is running out. Oh. Oh. No, we got that bar again, bro. Am I actually rotating the fort right now? Well, 
What is this? Helmet and a sword. I'm only in like a really weird, strange world of some kind and there's two weird guys trapped in books. There's no reason why I would want a sword or any of these weapons to defend myself at all. Hello. Yeah, this is totally... Yeah. I can't hold it. Why 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 do they have like an electric chair machine? That's exactly what I expected it to do when I pulled the lever too. What what are they doing? Yeah, I get it. You like killing people. I get it. You like killing people, bro. What is this? This is a blue page. What do I do with it? I'm in a, in a completely different dimension. Do I put it in my inventory some... I don't know. Hello? Hello, I got a page! Okay. Oh, I found a book! Hello? That's not a book. Jesus, we're really into the weeds now. We just opened up like a whole other can of worms. This is a completely different room. I hope I c I'm not like locked out of interacting stuff because I have this page glued to my hand. That would be very annoying. So like one guy has a trash room. Okay, I didn't actually want to go here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. But yeah, this guy... Someone trashed this guy's place. I feel like one of the Spiteful Brothers trashed the other guy's stuff or something. Assuming that this is all like the one family's property. The books, I mean. These worlds. Um, are these, these fam- this one Dunny family's property? These different islands that we're in? I don't know what the F to do with this freaking page. I'll put it right back. I know where the page is. I'm just gonna check and see if there's anything similar. Why does this person have all the good shit? They got the wine, they got the gold, they're ballin'. And it's a red page. Okay. Cirrus, your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder never satisfied. I will never instruct my, my subjects not to pay your... I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know they'll listen to me. Regards, Ash... Ashen... Ashenar. At... No, at... I'm gonna call him Ashinar, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, I'm assuming that the blue page guy is saying, hey, red page guy is a greedy guy, cause look, you got all this stuff. This guy is like, this guy's literally like a multi-millionaire with his gold bars here. So this guy wants a red page. 
I just don't know how to communicate with them because like where where's the link books? There must be a link book in this world somewhere, I'm assuming, if we're gonna be here a while. Whoa. Let's see what the other brother's critique is. This guy's place is like effed up. Whoa! Is that like a mangled body? What is that? It looks like a head. That is a head. Ooh. Wow. Is this like one guy's... I think this whole place is owned by the one guy. I don't know. It, this is so confusing. Whose fort is this? We have a dragonfly here. Okay. Now what? Oh, well this turned this thing, so we're in a big rotating t yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm very confused now. No way. Man, look at this thing. I thought I turned it though by cranking the the John. So I have to turn it that way. No. So sick. Okay. Hello. Hello. Don't jump scare me. It's really quiet. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Of course. What what is that? What am I looking at? Okay. So I can only literally look, like, straight out this door. What? What? 
Okay. Hmm. There's nothing here, right? There's nothing on this wall. There's nothing on this wall. Okay. So what's this about? Yeah. Oh. Oh shit, where are we going? I was just I was just hitting buttons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god. Okay. So that's the only way to make the elevator accessible is to crank this thing so that why why can it turn Oh, because you can turn the tower. But how can you turn the tower though? Right? Is that why is that why the elevator moves in that direction is because you can turn the tower as well? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. That's the boat. That's not crazy. That was, that's the boat. Uh, who's that? Who's that? Imagine this, like, fucking psycho coming in here. Who's this? What is this? Where am I? Yeah, imagine just, like, some random fucking guy just, like, breaking into your palatial rotating fort. Just being like, whoa, 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 what are the glowing things do, bro? Hey. Just messing with stuff and sprinting at, like, insane speeds. This also seems pretty ornamental. Well, it's not. This is a puzzle. Fuck. Huh. Grr. I'm really turning it now. Yes. Honestly, I didn't expect to make it as far as I have in this game without really a guide, except for that, except for the gears with the clock tower, you know. But that was like, what was that? I mean, come on, come on. Like, why does one person have, like, a death torture room and the other person has, like, a bunch of gold and stuff? Like, clearly, if that's representative of each of the two brothers, which I don't think it might be, I think this might be a different place. Um, they definitely have a, uh, I don't know, they both don't seem like great characters that I, I would try and help in any, in any way, honestly. They kind of seem like they're, they've kind of lost it.
So how do we turn this boy? Like, how do we freaking... How do we freaking... Frack this fricker, you know? Like, how do we frick it? Yeah. I might be stumped here. I think I might be stumped. Well, I think that we made some pretty good progress today. I mean, we're here. We're in this spot. You know, I found this guy. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna... Well, we have a lot to do. We have to figure out where where the books are. Are they still in the other realm? If so... Then we have to figure out how to carry these pages all the way out of this freaking rotating fortress and on to I don't know. We have to get out of this we have to get out of this fortress somehow. We have to figure out how this thing even turns. Because this clearly looks like it turns. We have to figure out where the books are. If they're in the other world, then that means we can only bring, like, one page. Which, um, that just means, like, I don't think we can come back, like, once we leave this area. So, like, we have to really commit to what book we want to help. So it's like, whose page should we get? Yeah, I really, <laughs> I really have to cut it off here. I just won't stop yawning now. Um, but it's like, yeah. Whose page do we bring? Because on one hand, we got one guy who just seems malicious. And then the other guy is just off the wall. So, like, is the poison death room the evil red guy? Or, hold on, which, which piece of paper? Nope. Nope, did not want to go here. It only simulates, though. So this is a blue page. So... Is this associated with that guy? Is this his stuff? The blue guy has this crazy torture room. Is this it? I don't know which brother is one of the okay brothers. They both seem not great. Hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. Then I th I thought I thought it was the red page in there. So then I don't really know. I really don't know at that point. Then. Um. So yeah, that will be an interesting moral conundrum, I guess, that we're gonna be running into with which of these two characters will support. But we barely heard any of them. We just only heard them talking about pages. We need pages. So I think we're gonna find out. Uh next time where it goes, but I'm going to save this. Save this. Boom. Yeah. Did I save it? 18.53? Well, that's not the time if it is. Um... There we go. There we go. That's a weird save system, isn't that? That's weird. Anyway, we got that all sorted out now. Uh, let's get these lights back on. Let's get these lights back on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God, the mic. It's falling apart now. Of course. Man, I am actually starving. I am starving. I need food. I think I, <laughs> I think that would do me a lot of good. Okay. That was, uh, that was something else. That was, um, 
uh, what was I gonna say? That was definitely, I, I thought like, like that's the thing. When I think of, of 90s puzzle game, I think of convoluted garbage. I thought it was gonna be like click on every pixel until I find the pixel that I'm supposed to and be like, oh. And it kind of was like that with getting behind that cabin there. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Um, oh yeah, do you like this? I, uh, I was waxing my, uh, my mustache and, uh, or at least trying to. And I'm never gonna do that again. I'm just gonna stick with the laser because that, that really hurt. Um, yeah, I just, Anyway, I'm very smart, as you can see. That was a very... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, a complete ape. But I just don't think that I can, like, actually wax my eyebrow without just <laughs> ripping the skin off. I don't know what it is. I can wax my legs fine. But this? I don't know. Weird. Weird, right? Anyway. Anyway. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I think we've had one consistent viewer the whole time. <laughs> but, you know. People are going to be watching this VOD, so any watchers of the VOD, thank you for watching. Uh, we will be continuing this series of Myst uh, into the future here. And as we conclude here, I have a new ending stream page, so you're going to be able to see what upcoming titles I'm going to be playing in future streams, uh, because the whole queue of exactly what game I'm going to be playing once this game is done will be there. Now, we're going to keep playing Myst every single stream, until it's beaten, and then we're going to move on to the next game in that queue that you're going to see. So, um, and, you know, I want to I want to keep it that way for the channel the whole time because, well, at the end of the day, like, you know, the whole point is that I really, I, I want to be, I want to actually like, complete these games. I was going to say I want to be a completionist, but not, not really. You don't want to be, like, a completionist. Uh, like, like Ubisoft games are the worst for that. They're just like, oh, we'll just spread a million items around. I don't care about 100% in something. I just want to beat the main part, the, the big thing that I got the game for. I think that's a fair goal. So that's why we're going to be sticking with Mist until it's done. Every single game until it's done. But yeah, if you want to see future titles of what will happen when we do beat the game and move on to the next thing, it's very informative for that. So... Yeah, that was a very complicated ramble for a very simple uh, concept, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're full steam ahead on my backdrop and lights here, as you can see. We got a real, we got, we got real progress in the dono goals. Um, either way, um, I'm hoping that, like, at some point I can just, like, get this stuff myself because it would be pretty useful anyway, so it's... Whether or not we reach we reach any dono goals for lights in the backdrop, you know, I I'll get it covered at some point, but that will make it sooner rather than later. We'll see. I need to get like a following for that, but I think this is pretty good. I think that just with these lights, I think that fixed uh, a lot of the issues with uh with last stream. And I mean, this is decent. You know, I could get, I could get a fire going. You know, if we get, you know, that'd be cozy. You know have a fire going when it's 31 degrees out right now it was 34 earlier yeah yeah that's a really good idea anyway i'm just rambling about complete nonsense at this point i just want you to see how terrible my notes were <laughs> this is what i've been working with it's embarrassing it's schizophrenic writing it's schizophrenic um but yeah so that's that's the caliber that we are working with today and um yeah so next stream uh i'll see you then and it looks like next stream will be uh probably tomorrow evening as well as from what it seems like here so i'll catch you guys tomorrow evening peace <laughs>